Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with almighty phase 1 and phase 1 is a tier 9 American uh, special tank, you can't call it premium, you can call it special. So we will try to make this tank work and if you are wondering if you are new in the world of tanks if you are thinking how to spend your battle pass tokens yes phase one is one of the better options although i need to highlight one very very important thing that phase one is kind of requiring some gold spam you know it's not the tank i mean you cannot say it is the 258 millimeters penetration is unplayable and shell velocity is good and so on but you are facing the heavy tanks all the time so obviously heat ammunition is um, just simply better choice if i can say that um, other than that, I think the combination of the things of this tank is decent enough and I think it is a nice tank. Shame it is not a premium. Eh, but we have a Jaeger as a premium tank, so we are going to be fine. We can farm plenty of the credits. Yeah, fellas, I just need to laugh a bit from that tank. I just need to do that. Okay. So what do we have? First things first, we have Oyster Bay. Definitely not my favorite map, but unfortunately I do not have any other choice just to play it with a big smile on my face. And let's try to do so. So the first things first. What I would love to do, I would love to probably play somewhere over there and hopefully we can slap the Fosh or anyone else who is playing in this area. Okay, Fosh doesn't care, fellas. Fosh is saying, I am going to moo you to the death this this is what Fosh is saying and you know what buddy you are in a lot of trouble if you would ask me yeah unfortunate Arta yeah I know I know my man unfortunate RNG I feel you one more highlight, which I want to say overall, fellas, every and each tank has six kills uh, uh, in the index page now. And the next thing what we are going to add is the comments about the tanks, um, which is very, very important thing. If you would ask me, I will I will tell one or another thing as an example. If I am starting, first of all, with a camo, I will highlight this. If uh, you are using the camo directive uh, or alternatively, you are aggressive player, you do not need to go for for Kamo as a first build and so on so on you get the point what I'm saying so I think it is very very important to highlight this meanwhile fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen I have a feeling I am way too aggressive that being said I am trying to escape before it's too late oh yeah and I'm not thinking that much I am just running for my life listen there is nothing bad to say oh okay I messed up I was too aggressive what is my escape route and I think we were extremely extremely successful of running for our life and I am feeling happy about this meanwhile I have a feeling our super conqueror is a dead meat I do not really think we can do absolutely anything uh, uh, to save him. I could potentially try to, get, uh, to go a bit more aggressive over there, but I think it is just waste of time and I think I am going to die if I am going to get involved. That being said, we are just holding the line here. There is no need to be aggressive. There is no need to show our biceps and say, I will strangle you. No, 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 no. This is not how the things are looking like in this situation. Definitely not. Meanwhile, 60 dp. Do we have a good enough angle? I would say we had a good enough angle, but look at this beauty. Yep. Very, very nice. This is what phase one is capable of doing. But once again, a big, big, big highlight. Skill what kind of ammunition you are using exactly. I am firing hits. And hits are capable of shredding enemies without bigger problems whatsoever like this. And that's what I want to highlight, fellas. Very important thing. Meanwhile, Minotaur is side scrapping here around the corner. I still want to lurk in the shadows to help him if obviously I can do so. 60 dp? Come on, you are a tier 10. Don't be afraid. Just peek. Just peek, buddy. You got this. By the way, I am... I believe there is a tiny chance that enemies will try to flank me like so. And you know what? I will 
I will check it out. Maybe someone is going tur 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 like this. Maybe Jack Tiger is going like crazy mother trucker. Or the other couple I will have some uh, wrong thoughts, you know? We need to be smart. What did I say? What did I told you? What did what did I told you, fellas? Help! Yep, 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 boys. You have a good angle, you have a good angle. I would say you have an excellent angle to support me. Good. This is exactly what we want to see. We want to lurk around. This is exactly what we want, you know? That's what we want. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you will be next. Don't you worry, my man. You are going to be next. Boom, we eliminated this guy from the game. Skill, do you see that 60 TP is uh, banging you in the back door? I am very, very well aware of that, but there is nothing what I can change there. I need to try to survive no matter what is the cost, you know? That's what I need to do. Beautiful, very, very nice. Very nice. I know about the sniper schnitzel sitting around this area as well, but you know what? 60 TP is priority at this point. And all we need to do, we need to see where he is sitting at. And yep, he's in the open field. Great. This game is highlighting everything what this tank has to offer and how beautiful this tank can be. And in my opinion, it is a very, very, very great tank, fellas. Honestly. I think it is... Such a smart mother tracker. Good one, good one. He got me well. Not much what I can change about this. I was a bit aggressive in the end, and in the same time, I was I was kind of silly goose, to be fair with you, because uh, I miss aim at the shot, but that's fine. We finished everything with a 3.2 thousand damage and 2.6 thousand assisting damage, which is absolutely glorious. It could have been significantly worse if I would not check this line, because 60 TP would go like this, and in the same time I would get uh, rushed like this, so I would be dead meat with, like, twice l little score, so... I would say it is a great success. Let's see the scoreboard. Okay, fellas, we are back. I do not feel bad about the score. Well, maybe damage is a bit to the lower part, but it is how it is. 3.2 thousand damage, 2.6 thousand assisting damage. We are first by experience. We are second by the damage. And we got a bit of the profits as well. Overall, beautiful game. Definitely nothing to cry about and definitely nothing to complain about. Come on, face. Second game is going to be better damage-wise. Okay. Okay, round number two, Outpost Standard Battle. Let's see what FaZe can do for Mr. Chieftain and for 260 and for two Artas. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, this is, uh, this is looking quite a hard one. You know what? We are going to load the hits instantly. And we are going to say hi to them. But our goal is going to be straightforward. I'm going to go tartar tar into this hold down position on the charlie one and we will try to slap the living crap out of everyone you know that's the plan that's the hope that's the dream um obviously ideally if i would not get spotted heading to position it would be absolutely glorious but uh, uh, considering that enemies have 260 and chieftain this is going to be significantly harder thing to do uh, just because they are very very quick mother trackers you know that's the main and the most important thing what I am highlighting. Oh, look at this beauty, fellas. And what do we have here? We have Mr. 260. Oh, you have no clue how the things will go for you here, do you? Okay, he thought, listen, I'm going to make a hardcore pressure and I'm going to have the best time ever. I'm going to show how big and the powerful boy I am. And look at this. We are going to say hello for him. He should not feel great, fellas. If he will try to side scrap, we are going to slap him. If he is not going to side scrap, he is going to sit here forever and ever, you know? There is nothing what he can change in this situation. Because escaping like this, it's pretty much impossible, I would say, right? So all we need to do, we need to be patient. Plus on top of that, we have almighty Jack Pizda sitting over there. We have TN Hush, we have 60 TP. In other words, what I'm saying, we are safe. Plus on top of that, we are making sure to get rid of any of the dirt, um, which is on this tank as well. And look at this beauty. Hi. Boom. Uh, skill, what did this 260 can do? Absolutely nothing, fellas. 
This is what it is so good to play with the tanks like this, right? Whenever you can, simply sit, hold down, and all you need to do, you need to wait until enemies uh, are messing up. That's all you need to do, fellas. And luckily for us, um, enemy chieftain is taking one for the team from our Jeffs, and uh, we are chilling. Enemy Arta is thinking, huh, phase one. <laughs> tier 9 tank not interested i would rather slap someone else you know this is how it is looking like Ooh, do i want to risk it for the biscuit i am thinking about it i am thinking about risking for the biscuit fellas maybe our arta you know what i will keep him spotted i will keep him spotted to the certain extent Woo! I loved it, fellas. I enjoyed it, and you know what? Enemy Arta changed their mind. I think Enemy Arta is thinking, wait a second, there is a guy, heavy tank, in the open field. Soon I will slap the living crap out of you, and you will forget your name. Good, he's trying to escape, not so fast. Take that, good. And once again, I do not mind to take 100 or 200 from the Arta. It is fine. This position is the key position in this uh, uh, in this area, at least in my humble opinion. That being said, we need to be a bit uh, more brave than usual, right? We need to we need to slap the enemies. We need to say hi. You know, that's what we need to do. And so far, it looks good, and we are pretty much eliminating 260 from the game. He haven't done literally anything yet in this battle, right? Apart trying to penetrate us with a gold ammunition, but it did not went that well. And we are okay. Plus, on top of that, Chieftain is getting slapped as well. Now, I'm going to take my time. I am going to try to dodge the art. Unfortunately, he's managed to slap me. But once again, I do not really think it is a game changer or something changed to the level that I cannot do absolutely anything. I think we are doing all right. Meanwhile... The 260 is still probably waiting for me until I am going to peek, and as you can see, he doesn't. Oh boy, forgot the fire extinguisher. I feel you, mate. I feel you. Yeah, skill, I have a question. Did you just solo 260 from full to death? Yep, this is exactly what happened, fellas. Um, and once again, this tank is capable of doing this. This tank is golden and it is awesome. But you need to remember to tap that two key. And if it is something what you do not um, enjoy and this is not how you are playing the game, then it is a bit complicated situation, if you know what I mean. Obviously, artists are slapping us at this point and I definitely feel a bit of the pressure but once again I do not really think it is a game changer whatsoever. Meanwhile I am just waiting for this fava to move in. Wow! I mean buddy you definitely have a crush on me. I get the point that we slapped 260. It doesn't mean you need to slap us back. It just it is just mean I would say. It is just mean. Fava. You know it's a matter of the time whenever Fava will You know it's a matter of the time whenever Fava will say slap me. Yep, this gentleman. This is what I am waiting for at this point. Uh, skill when Arta will shoot you in approximately three seconds. Three, two, one. I'm alive. Alive! Ah beautiful tank. Truly beautiful. Meanwhile, Chieftain is trying to run for his life. Yeah, yeah, you keep going. Chieftain. No. You naughty mother trucker. I thought uh, loading heat is going to be a good idea, but as you can see, I definitely was wrong. It's fine. Now, next priority for us will be straightforward. We want to go for this fava. I think this is the right way to play the game. And as you can see, 60dp is going to be the first meatball who will take one for the team just because we are pushing in front and you know what, Fava is going as well. Not a big deal, we are okay, we are taking our time, we are aiming for his roof and we are penetrating him, beautiful. Now, you know that and I know that he's on the reload, but you know what, Fava is not our uh, priority. Our priority is this Progetto, for sure. Beautiful, very, very nice. Can we slap him once again before it's too late? Sure we can. Very nice. 
once again this is one of the one of the better tier 9 heavy tanks at least in my opinion obviously there is a lot of a lot of a lot of good tier 9s don't get me wrong the tier 9 is not the much making from which you could say oh no most of the tier 9s are so bad i wish we would have a better tier 9s now tier 9s are extremely powerful plus on top of that tier 9s has the best matchmaking as well that being said um minus one plus two you can meet tier sevens you cannot meet uh, uh, two tiers higher tanks, right? Which is absolutely glorious and it is amazing. Uh, but in the same time, obviously, competition of the tier nine is also quite, uh, uh, quite a heavy one. Think about it. There is E75. There is uh, all the um, reward tanks and whatnot. And it is not as simple as you might think it is. Um, to rate uh, the tier nine in a very, very good level, you know, it is just. The competition is way too big, you know? That's what I'm saying. Meanwhile, I'm feeling fine. There is no need for us to panic. There is no need for us to uh, cackle our shoes. We are feeling very, very well about this. And we are sending him straight to the garage. Beautiful. Now, you know, <laughs> you know how Shell went? Shell went literally through this gap. You know what? That art should be furious. Well, here you go. That's RNG for you, buddy. That is RNG for you. Another art is sitting here. Now, we need to figure out how we could get involved and how we could get some more use of all of this. And this is going to be a bit harder situation and harder way. I'm afraid that our 60 dp won't be able to save this. Eh, listen, comrade, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. You see, that's good. Only 100 in the face. Meanwhile, another art. Wow. 400 from uh, 261. Well, that's to be expected considering he made a decision to shoot uh, uh, different ammunition. It's kind of a golden shell, if you know what I mean. But that's okay. Meanwhile, we have a char footer and char footer is saying Brrr! he is making a hardcore pressure for us. And you know what? There is no chance that we are going to win against him. But what we can can do we can try to do our best by the way he has a very 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 good gun handling just keep this in mind meanwhile just go for me just go for me you big boy thank you very much he's down to three shotable more likely and plus on top of that one shotable char footer is making pressure just like so i'm paying attention into the mini map don't you worry now if we are going to lit him on fire we are going to feel great if not then uh, okay not means not fellas double char footer two shotable one shotable now at this point but yeah it's okay that wasn't a bad game fellas that wasn't a bad game i am i am happy with my performance and i think uh, it was okay maybe arguably we could go for a base defense before and right? maybe we could but i think that was still a better decision and i think that was a great game especially my favorite part was to slap that 260 because he had nothing to do in this situation meanwhile we have 5.9 thousand damage 1.1 thousand assisting damage solid ace uh, high caliber we are first by experience we are first by the damage and on top of that, we have 28,000 profits. By the way, is it only me or we got slapped for the most of our hit points by the artist? Because I think we lost uh, over 60% of HP. But maybe it's only me, right? Anyways, beautiful game. Let's go for one more, shall we? Come on, fellas. One more 6,000 and I'm happy. We are playing in the Drown and I meant to say Erlenberg. And we are having assault. Listen. I made a decision not to play in the city because I just do not like playing the city skill, but you are a heavy tank. Yeah, you are 100% time a heavy tank, but enemy still needs to um, attack the base, right? Uh, so we are feeling pretty well and we are feeling okay plus on top of that there is a humongous chance that enemies will try to make pressure like this and good luck digging heavy tank from here i like especially my favorite situation is when the medium tank is saying oh i am quick i'm going to drop down here 
and then you are showing who is the boss by pushing a bit more in front like this and just slapping the living crap out of him this is my favorite situation um when someone is too aggressive in this side or heavy tank doesn't really matter good 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 now First things first, what am I dreaming about? I am dreaming about checking someone playing over there. Unfortunately, there isn't anyone who would be so brave. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine guns here. Since we have nine guns, do I want to be that aggressive? Was I sniping from here, I would say, because he killed this char footer and this char footer overpeaked by the slightest here. Listen, now, we are going to take this tier 9 and after that we'll see what we are going to do, right? Okay, we are not going to take this tier 9, we are going to slap this tier 8 then. Sue is sniping from the back as well. Wow, enemies have plenty of the forces as well here. I cannot say that they do not have anyone, right? It's okay. Progetto is sniping as well. Don't mind me if I do. Mm, I bled out a bit of the hit points. And to be completely honest with you, there is no point for us to make pressure like this. Why so? Because they have at least um, two sniper schnitzels, which is Su-130 PM and Progetto. What that means? That means it's just simply not worth it. Why would I make a hardcore pressure to get farmed? It is not the greatest idea. But... We are chilling here. Look, eventually this T10 will say, hmm, can I make pressure like this? And I, we, and you know what? We are good people. We are going to give him a green light and then we are going to snipe him in the side. How about this? Plus on top of that, there is a chance that Defender will try to get involved and in the same time someone else will try to push like this. This is exactly what we are looking for and this is exactly what we want. Plus on top of that, the time is in our favor, you know? Meanwhile, one fort is dead in three, two, one, dead. He definitely cannot do absolutely anything here. And now this is what we want, fellas. Defender is moving sideways and Defender is questioning his life choices. He is thinking, is it a mirage or uh, I actually got a cut by a half or divided by a half, I suppose to say. Yeah, unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. How about this T10? Will this T10 get involved here? I could obviously load the heat ammunition to penetrate Defender easier, but the thing is, our team is holding the side very, very well. What is the decision which would bring the most use for us? Maybe I could be aggressive, but what I would get from that? Probably not much. Probably not much, fellas. Yeah, it's just simply not worth it. Enemy team, enemy team is looking uh, pretty weak. No, but skill, what do you mean enemy team is looking weak? Enemy team is winning against your team. Yeah, but you see, they still need to attack. And in the same time, usually attack is significantly harder than, uh, than to defend because they need to go through all guns here. They need to push through the open field here. Or alternatively, they need to dig literally absolutely everyone in this side as well, which is, which is complicated, fellas. It definitely is. So once again, relax, take it easy, and just simply wait. Be patient. Sometimes we just need to be patient in order to have a great game or to have a decent game, I suppose to say. If I would push through the open field, Progetto would farm me. Actually, both Progetto and Su could slap me for that. Lava! Yes! Big boy, just peek. Just push through the middle. There is another Lova sitting somewhere over there. You know what? I'm trying to dig um, them out, but in a bit different way. My goal is to find a decent enough angle to keep slapping this Mr. Love and not get farmed by uh, by the guy sitting here. And I think the right decision is to take this corner here. Why so? Because I think it will simply work. Meanwhile, Love is pushing through the middle. He is saying blah, 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 while going through the open field. And can we slap him like this? 
beautiful. I do not know how I hit that shot because for me, personally, reticle was feeling like um, it is definitely not on the tank but in the wall. But you know what? I would call it a compensation for uh, enemy inactivity. How about that? That sounds good, right? I knew it. Ay, 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 defender died here, which is a bit of the problem. Now, if Love will peek, I need to aim for his cupola, or alternatively, I need to aim um, to his cheeks if I am willing to shoot the goal, which I do not really want to. Beautiful gun of the phase one. You can say whatever you want, but the gun of this tank actually works fine. Meanwhile, I have another shot, and we are eliminating him from the game. Excellent. Very, very nice. Now, what is the correct decision? Do we want to go for a Patton or do we want to go for a T10 or do we want to do anything? Because three minutes left at this, in this situation, right? Three minutes left, fellas. Sir? Hi. I mean, since he came for me, we can have a conversation. Garage. Wow, did he actually fire it quicker than I did? Wow, I did not saw that one coming. He has, he has better alpha damage. So I thought my reload is going to be good enough to slap him. Wow, okay, that was a mistake, definitely. Um, how the things we are played uh, in my head in this situation i thought we are going to slap him back faster than he will so we are going to save the 400 hp for ourselves and obviously sue was sniping somewhere here in the back i did not expect him to make pressure at this point uh in this situation fellas i definitely messed up I made a decision to be too aggressive, and unfortunately, we finished the game in this way. Kind of sad, and I believe it could have been significantly better. So, you know what we are going to do? Well, unfortunate, fellas. We got disconnected, and unfortunately, our brain got attached, um, de-attached from our body, and we played two games. Beautiful, and look what kind of two games we played. 4.5 thousand average damage, 1.9 thousand assisting damage. What the a great performance and what a great show that was um and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a great time and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace